Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Commander products and what is the long-term value of Commander products. First of all, Commanders, the Commander Precon decks are very unique in that they have 100 cards and most of the 100 cards, I would say at least 20 of them are semi-valuable. So it's not like a booster pack where hopefully you get one valuable card and the rest of the cards are, assuming they are not Fatal Push, not very good. Commander products have always been interesting in terms of spikes, in terms of price increases, and the product that I want to suggest picking up right now before it's a little too late is Commander 2016. Commander 2016 is out of print, but you can still find them in Walmart, you can still find them in Target, Toys R Us, Walgreens even, I feel like, Barnes and Nobles, as well as online. So these are not particularly expensive decks. You do see occasional price spikes on them, but if you go to Walmart or Target, you should be able to find them. Even if you go to Toys R Us, their prices are a little bit higher, but they do tend to have all of them in stock. Even during the Mine Seas, they always had Mine Seas because they charge a little bit more. So Commander 2016 is out of print. In August, we get Commander 2017 making 2016 outdated. Here is a list of some of the card prices. I do feel like there is a good assortment of value. Now, a lot of these cards were reprinted and a lot of these cards are actually unique to Commander. And when you're picking which Commander deck you wanna buy, I would suggest this, just pick ones that you like. Uh, as a MTG financing, you cannot really predict what cards are going to go up. A lot of these cards that we're going to historic, we're going to take a look at, like Scavenging Ooze used to be forty dollars, then it was reprinted to Oblivion, and even now, in the in a second Commander product, but it was reprinted in a core set, so it plummeted in price. Chaos or Warp Chaos, I remember that card being one of the chase cards. It's no longer as valuable. So when you're looking at what decks you want to buy, keep in mind, just buy whatever you want to play because that's the point of magic, right? But now would be the time to get them if you're interested in getting them. The longer they are out of print, as I'm going to show you, the more valuable some of these singles become. So Commander 2015, in my opinion, is a especially weak product. 2016 is a much stronger product, as you can see from price, as well as quality of reprints. Commander 2015, you can still buy for under MSRP from Dave and Adams, anywhere online. Occasionally, you will see them at a Walmart or Target, but definitely not as much as 2016. Now, 2015, you kind of could tell the power, they dumbed down the power level quite a bit. 2016 does not have that issue. I'm going to go ahead and say 2016 is way stronger and will go down as a much more balanced, so much more price-based commander set than 2015. Now, if you held on to 2015, you do have some very interesting commanders. You do have the confluences. Again, they were not particularly, they were not cards that you could be like, hmm, the confluences will go up in price but they did. And luckily for Command 2016, they did because there's not much value otherwise. Normally at the second screenshot, you know, you see like a lot of $2 cards, but here we see under $1 cards. I do like it, but overall, this, the, car, the cards in 2015 were much weaker. Even if you were to find a 2015 Commander deck, it is not likely that the singles are worth the price that you would pay, assuming it's MSRP. And again, you can buy most of 2015 from online vendors. 2016, however, has sell, sold much better. I feel like they've learned their lesson, and the lesson was, hey, give players what they want. Print really good reprints. And that is what happened in 2016. That did not happen in 2015. Therefore, if you see any 2015, I suggest not buying them and avoiding them because they are not going to be great investments. I do, my gut feeling is the cards are very weak. 
And that is just like, I've been playing Magic for a long time, so I know I'm a cat. If there was the substantial graveyard hate, the cards, people would realize, oh, these cards are incredibly weak. But without graveyard hate, people are saying I'm a cat is like the strongest set ever. I don't know why they're saying that because literally none of those cards I can look at and say, hmm, this is a good card and modern. And that's why I look at power level, right? 2016 has a lot of really good power level. 2015 did not. 2014 is an interesting one because all the prices, the Planeswalker Commanders. If you can trade into them, please trade into them. They are very good value. So you got uh, Tefriri, you got Fur Elise, you got um, Gold Collar Giselle, and Omnixilis, and Nahiri as in Titania, but all of them over $6.00. And you have a lot of value in terms of just casual cards. Planeswalker Commanders, I don't feel like they will go down in price. They are very unique to this particular set. They are not going to just plummet in price one day. People will always want them uh, for either their Planeswalker collection or to make Commanders around. The problem here is they are mono colors and mono color... Mm, I kind of wish that they had multi-color Planeswalkers that could be used as EDX commanders because then they would be very good because you could have a second color. Now we get down to the list and this is more like it. You do have really good Chaos Warp is I think the one I'm talking about uh, that was very pricey and then was not anymore. Uh, you have Crypt Gas, that's one's very good. Feldon, you have uh, Tyrant's Familiar. A lot of very, very quality cards here, quality reprints, and oh, Immaculate Magistrate, that's a good elf. Uh, Black Sun Zenith is very good, Imperius is perfect. That card used to be a 5 to $7 card. So lots of good reprints here, even at the second line, you have Degree of Justice, Brave the Elements, uh, Hunt Master, it's always a fun card. So the entertainment value of this particular commander set, I feel like is very high. Power level, I still put it under Commander 2016. That's why I'm suggesting if you have any interest in any of the Commander 2016 products, now would be the time to buy them. Don't wait because eventually they will not be around. 2015 was not great, 2014 was meh. And you know, then we will get into the crisis that was 2013. And the crisis goes with one card that is still very pricey. True Name Nemesis is a $30 card. Then you have Primal Vigor. I remember Toxic Deluge was a $15 or $20 card one that time. It has since gone down in price. Avenge of Zendikar is pretty good. Wow, okay. Homeward Path has been reprinted like a lot, I guess. A lot more than I believe. Arcane Denial. Tempt with Discovery. Degree of Pain. So overall, you have most of your value in the Mind Seize deck, which is nice because they printed twice as many of those decks as the auto few. Overall, I would say 2016 was better than 2013, uh, mainly because the, the card value spread more evenly and it's not like, oh, I got Mind Seize. Oh, I didn't get Mind Seize. You do have Primal Vigor there. That's a really amazing card. Um, I, I love that card quite a bit in ED8, but you don't you don't actually have very much value towards the lower ends. I mean, you do have lots of casual staples, and like a Sanguine Bond is a very cool card. 2016 was a good set. 2016 made a lot of ED8 decks. 2015, 14, and 13 not so much. Towards the end, you see a drop off of card values. So if anything, 2013 should have been enough time for the card prices to recover. But because of the quality of cards not being that high, it just doesn't recover. It kind of just stays at the sub $1. I mean, sub $1 or at around $1, you can get a lot of really good cards. It's just the fact that 2016 there's much more value in each of the decks. And I feel like the commanders, they, the commanders themselves have, are very unique in 
that they tend to create their own decks being four color and all it allows you to play different color patterns that is not naturally out there in legends so overall the 2016 commanders are themselves very unique and they have created unique decks that are very strong and it goes around the actual pre-con so the pre-con deck has a lot doesn't have much to be desired you can upgrade but it's completely playable now let's talk about original commander this is where it gets kind of interesting you have flusterstorm kalia which is i believe it is in commander's anthology as a foil right that's interesting you have animal you have oblivion stone stranglehold which is also in the Kalia deck Great pack, I would assume that's in clear deck, but I'm not positive. Command, Riku. The price inch, the price point that I want to talk about here is a sealed version of this, of any of these, is super expensive. It's considered a collector's item. So if you can run into a sealed copy of this, buy it. Yeah, by all means, buy it if you can get a good price. But if you run into an open copy of it, it's not worth what people are asking for. I have run into many people trying to sell pseudo open. I guess like it's, they have all the cards, but they are, and they're in good condition, but it's unsealed. And there is a very big price difference, a huge price gap between an unsealed and sealed version of this card. Of, sorry, this pre con deck. So it's an interesting thing to note. Over the years, Commander has been interesting. But as a whole, you can see, unless you get to the original Commander, which was in 2012, that was five years ago, there's not that much value in the singles in terms of like one card or two cards being able to pay for the entire set or entire pre-con deck. But there is a lot of great value for the people who actually want to play the deck. You will get your value from it. 2016, in my opinion, is the best commander set since the original commander. And yes, I own original commander. I probably buy the anthology. I have to check. I don't know where I heard that there's a foil Kalia in anthologies. I don't know because if they just reprinted it, why would there be a foil one? Because the original one is not foil. Maybe they mean like Commander's Arsenal. That was kind of a weird set. I couldn't even buy Commander's Arsenal, and I. I started didn't even get any. <laughs> like it was terrible. Well, if they got any, they didn't tell me, and they probably showed them online for a lot of money, being my store and all. So anyway, Commander is a good product to open. It's a good product to buy, but it is not a great investment product. It is not something that you want to hold on to long term, because selling a hundred cards or let's say twenty of them is insane. And it is not something that a normal person would want to do because they can work at Walmart and make more money per hour than they can listing individual single, singles from Commander decks. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below. I Again, I'm saying if you need a Commander 2016 decks or they look, in, they look attractive at all, buy them. Go to your Target. Go to Walmart. Go to Toys R Us is the secret here. Because I don't know why their prices are more expensive, but you can definitely find them or buy them online. Buy them from Amazon because it's a very, very good commander set. It's the best one I've seen since Commander 2012, the original commander set. And I, you know, I'm very, I get a, since I've been playing Magic for so long, I'm looking at card prices for so long, I know what power level is. 2016 is on a different scale as terms of power level. From 15, 14, 13, about the same as 12. So will it eventually reach the prices of 12? It could. In the next few years, it might. It really might. Because you're looking at some very unique commanders that have built around me. And that's important. Anyway, that's it, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.